Okay, just one out. I did do the video on running through the basics to see if you're ready for the next level. And now I want to run through kind of a checklist for you to go uh, over yourself in your mind to see if you've got some work. Uh, most of the time right now I'm in mid 4D and above. From mid 4D and above, all the things that I'm going to go over, you have to uh, not check yes on any of them to move any further up. Now you might be able to uh, spike up into higher 4D, lower 5D for moments at a time, very seldomly, but you cannot sustain or you cannot uh, gradually move up and end up in 5D if any of these things are true. So if you uh, don't love every aspect of your body and your life, you can't go any further. If you're afraid of your uh, friends and family finding out that you listen to my videos or are afraid to talk to them about what we talk about, then you can't go any further. If you are afraid to talk to anyone at work, you're afraid you'll lose your job if, you, if they find out about these things that we talk about, you can't go any further. If you are afraid of not finding your true calling, you can't go any further. Um, if you need a healer, an energy healer or a medical doctor other, outside of instant trauma, to heal yourself, then you can't go any further. If you need a psychic to talk to dead people, then you don't need, you can't go any further. Um, if you're afraid that somebody is listening to your phone calls, you can't go any further. If you're afraid that somebody is going to get your information off of the internet and steal your money from your bank, you can't go any further. Um, if you are afraid of getting any kind of disease, you can't get any further. If you are uh, worried about whether or not your children are going to be okay, you can't go any further. If you are uh, concerned in any way, shape, or form about any aspect of the world economy, you can't go any further. If you're afraid for your own economy, if you're worried about losing your job, being homeless, losing your house, losing your car, uh, you can't go any further. If you are concerned when you walk out the door about the way you look and what other people think of you when you walk out the door, you can't go any further. Um, if you're afraid of any kind of alien race, you can't go any further. Um, if you're afraid that you're not going to make it, you can't go any further. Um, are you seeing a, a repetition here in the things that I'm saying? Uh, a lot of people that I've talked to are very uh, mostly say, yeah, I'm going to 5D, I'm going to 5D, not realizing that they still are very much afraid to open up about these kind of things we talk about to their next door neighbor, their daughters, their significant others, their best friend. And if you are afraid to do that, then you're not even close to 5D. Um, if in any of the little things like uh, concerned about what you look like when you walk out of the door, worried about whether or not you're going to lose your job, uh, concerned about your your um, parents or your children's well-being, um, angry at the world economy, angry at North Korea, angry at the United States, angry at your parents or your children or your best friend, or angry at them because you can't talk about the stuff that we talk about anything like that. I want to um, really make it clear here that the stuff that you needed to handle to get out of 3D, you're not done with yet. And unless that's 
dealt with. You can't deal with the stuff you need to deal with to get through 4D. Therefore, you cannot go to 5D and sustain. So this is serious business. Uh, when I tell you to be happier and happier and happier, it's to fill your head up with happier gratitude, appreciation, so that your mind cannot stay busy with the stuff that I just talked about. You've been so busy and so programmed and so habitualized in thinking about all that other stuff I just talked about to the point that that's normal for you. And I'm here to tell you that it it is normal for 3D, it is normal for 4D, but it is absolutely incompatible with 5D and you will not be allowed in. You simply will not. You cannot worry, fuss, judge anything, anyone ever and stay in 5D. You cannot do it. You cannot do it. So you can't have a five second good good moment and expect to go to 5D with that. You can't. You must be happy you know, uh, uh, the percentage of happiness needs to go up percentage-wise the closer you get to 5D. So at this point, in the middle of 4D, you should be happy, uh, your version of happy, at least 50% of the time. At least 50% of the time. And from here on out, it should get more and more and more percentage the closer to 5D you get. If you do not do that, 4D will overwhelm you. You will either end up as a quad entity or you will die and re be reborn in a third dimensional existence, which may be your goal all along. I'm just talking to those that are trying for 5D. Um, you got to get past this. You're, you're like gnawing an old bone about the past. I, I keep talking about the past doesn't matter. The past doesn't matter, but yet you're, you're kind of judging how people are going to respond to things when you walk out the door, whether or not you'll have a job. What if you bring up aliens? You're judging all people's responses about how they will respond to you based on history, which is past, which is irrelevant. If you are happy in doing it right, you will bring up and be your authentic self and only the jobs that you want will be the jobs that you keep. If if you're your authentic self and they fire you, no big deal. No big deal, right? You're a creator God. That job wasn't for you. It was keeping you in low vibrations. And now you turn around and go, phew, good one. Now I can go get a job that I can be my authentic self in. I can start as my authentic self. I can get the job as my authentic self. Anybody who's your family and friends, if you're not being your authentic self, well, how would you feel if you found out none of them are being authentically their selves to you? How would that make you feel? So you're basically lying to all of them. All the people that you love so much, you're flat out lying to them. Is that okay if they do that to you? No? I didn't think so. Um, the path on doing what you're supposed to... I've told you over and over again that most of you, just by being born here, standing on the on the the earth, you have done your job. So there's no reason to be worried about whether or not you've done your job or not. Uh, everything is in the now, really. The rest of it's an illusion of time and space. So really, there's nothing to worry about at all, period. Everything is going to work out okay. Now it's just a matter of, are you going to be happy in this process, this path, this way? Are you going to go to aspects of yourself and others who are happy? Or are you going to insist on the past you're going to insist to assume that they're going to judge you, so you're going to judge them, that you are in danger, so therefore you're going to defend yourself. Uh, and guess what? They're thinking the same thing about you. All of those things have to be gone for you to go to 5D. They have to. They have to be gone. No more. Now, my time's moving really fast. Easily uh, 5 to 10 years. Uh, if you guys keep going at the rate you've been going, uh, you're not even going to come close. You got to put some things to bed here. You got to insist from yourself higher standards. You have to be on top of yourself all the time about your thoughts and deeds. If you want to go to 5D, if that is the most important thing to you, then being 
open, honest, loving, and happy is the most important thing. It's more important than what other people think about you, whether or not you have money or a job, whether or not your family loves you or thinks you're nuts. It should be the most important thing and all the rest of these things should not matter. But I hear all the time that they do. They do. Okay. If, if you were on a desert island by yourself and you look the way that you do, would you be okay with that? Yeah, you would. Sure, of course you would. That means that you're not looking or having the right job or driving the right car or living in the right house. That's all for other people. That's all based on you assuming they're going to judge you, which probably means you're judging them. That's got to be gone. That's got to be gone. It's got to be gone. You need to analyze exactly what you're doing with your life and and exactly uh, why you're working, uh, what you're spending your money on, what's the purpose of it. I'm not talking about saving the earth. The earth is doing a really fine job of doing that herself. She is almost out of here. I'm talking about for you. I'm talking about for you. Uh, really need to stop and look at what you're doing day to day, moment to moment. Is this because they've told you to? Or is this because this is what brings you happiness and joy? Is this what your parents told you to do? Or is this because it brings you happiness and joy? Okay? If you think that you're, the way that you live is the only way that you can live, you're sorely mistaken. Uh, you need to get out on the internet more. Because there's infinite ways to live a life. And there's a lot of super happy people there uh, finally breaking out and going to alternative ways of living. All kinds of alternative ways of living. So you need to find that way of living. You need to surround yourself with people that you can be your authentic self in with. Okay? If that's just two people, then start with two people. You know? Um, if you need to be surrounded by a whole bunch of family and friends to feel complete, well then, that's probably a problem. You need to be able to be totally alone and be good with that. I'm totally good with that. I would like to visit with others. That's why I reached out to you guys. I wanted to talk to somebody. But you know what? I quickly learned that talking to myself on this phone worked out really well. So all the conversations I was having with myself, my higher self, my pub friends, all the other entities, all the other beings on all those other levels, and me talking to the phone, and my couple of people that I'm my authentic self, I, I'm totally good. I'm totally good with that. I tell you what, it has made it much more difficult to be around people who are not um, authentically themselves. Um, I knew there was a lot of lying going on, a lot of masking going on, but I... Uh, until I really stepped into my authentic self, I did not realize how prevalent it was. The sad thing is that most of the time these people, you, you're, you're putting up a mask and, and you're lying to all these people and yourself for no reason. They really would love you just as well if you were who you really are. So those of you who really want to go to 5D, you need to really stop and evaluate what I'm trying to tell you. You need to go through that basic list. You need to be able to check off the 3D stuff. If you can't do it 50% of the time or more, then you probably want to start thinking about uh, uh, collecting the information about the fourth dimension and kind of choosing a side because you will need to choose a side. So you'd probably be better, your time would probably be better spent doing that because you have to be very serious and focused to go through 4D to 5D at this point with the information that you have, the knowingness that you have. You all of a sudden not having amnesia is not going to magically get you to 5D at all. At all. I've got all of the information. I still had to do the work. I still have to do the work every day. So if you think that enlightenment or uh, your amnesia going away is a magic ticket straight to 5D and that's what you're going for. Nope, that won't work. That won't work. And I've told somebody, I said at times, it makes it much more difficult. Uh, knowing that I could shoot myself in the head and be right home, yeah, it makes it a lot harder 
to uh, do the job here. So knowing all the answers has its huge disadvantages. Huge disadvantages. There is a reason you've got amnesia. You don't uh, want all of it at one time because that would just make you super homesick and you, uh, yeah, it makes it much harder. Much harder. Okay? So, uh, yeah, there's that. I want you to think about that, guys. Uh, really think about that list and add your own. If there's any judgment, worry, attachment in your life at all, if there's any masks, any deception, any not being your authentic self in any part of your life, you need to stop and look at it. Which is more important? <laughs> Living that way or going to 5D? Because you're going to have to choose. Now's the time that you have to choose. You must choose. You must choose. You must choose those things or 5D. And if you can't let go of these things to go to 5D, then you need to choose one side or the other, which you would say light or dark, service to others, service to self, in the fourth dimension. But you will have to choose uh, one way or the other. You will have to choose either consciously or subconsciously. You've got too much data at this point to do it subconsciously, so you're going to have to choose. Okay? All right, I know you can do this. Uh, you just need to have uh, a lot more self-esteem and a lot more uh, desire to take care of yourself first. But uh, it, it's all going to come down to you. Nobody can do it for you. And losing your amnesia will not do it for you either. There's no magic, magic ticket rides here. No golden ticket getting you there. Okay? All right, guys. That's it for me. Uh, time for me to go to bed. Huge hugs. And I'll talk to you later. And that's it for me. Bye now.